Hi there, this singing tutorial is all about how you can develop more vocal control so that you can sing more smoothly. So this is about legato singing. Now legato means smooth in Italian and in music theory we use Italian words for direction. So if you ever look at a score you'll see different words within that score. Sometimes it's just at the beginning and Oftentimes, especially if it's a longer score, then you might you might see different words with different instructions and they tell you how to play the music. So legato is smooth singing and it's really, really good. Um, it's really important to have control so that when you are singing like longer notes or you're singing slow music, ballads, this exercise, the exercises I'm going to be taking you through today are good for contemporary and classical singers. Although I'm not a classical singing teacher, I did study classical singing for three years, so I do know the techniques, but now I focus on contemporary singers, in particular, singer-songwriters. So if you've been struggling with holding long notes or being able to sing smoothly or your voice is a little bit wobbly and you'd love to develop more vocal control, then stick with me because I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to do that. But of course, before we do, I would love it if you would subscribe wherever you see the subscribe button or follow me or um, wh wh whatever platform you're watching this on, click click the appropriate button and also remember to like and comment about what you like. So let's get into it. Make sure my keyboard is on. Now, smooth singing and vocal control takes time. This isn't something you can rush. So just like when you start going to the gym, you start with those smaller exercises, those um, uh, exercises that take a little bit less effort, less strength. And if you were to start on weights, you wouldn't start on a huge weight. You'd start at, at, on those smaller weights. So think of it as um, it's your vocal workout, workout. So think of it as similar to a gym workout. Start out where you are, Start slow and build your strength. So we're gonna start with a vocal warm up, as we always do. We're gonna start down here. So for those singers with lower notes, actually let's start here. For those singers who have lower voices, and we're going to um, sing a lip bubble. So we're gonna purse our lips and blow through the top lip. If you find that difficult, then use your fingers to just loosen up your lips but make sure that you're not pulling them tight they must be loose and blow through the top lip that's what creates the lip bubble so we're going to sing an arpeggio here we go Take long breaths. Long breath. Long breath. but don't strain. Thank 
as you get lower, dip into your fry. The uh sound. Uh. You can go nice and low. You can go lower than you think, as well as higher than you think. Almost there. Last one. Next, we're going to do a tongue trill. It's like rolling your R's. And we're going to sing. Um, here we go. Five, six, seven, and. to breathe into your ribs.
last one. Okay, now we're going to move on to the exercise. So if you've ever watched any of my um, other videos, you might have heard me talk, talk about raising the soft palate, the Mr. Bean Kermit the Frog sounding voice. That's what we're going to use here. And that's what gives us that churchy, choiry, classical sound. So what we need to do is open, relax the throat, open the throat, raise the soft palate, relaxing, nice posture, relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the stomach, but we will be engaging our diaphragm. If you're not sure how to do that, don't worry about it. Just let the sound come out. Now this is an R sound, it's a legato sound, and we're gonna be singing um, this exercise. We're not going to be taking a breath. Now the trick here is to not put loads of effort into the singing. So we don't want. No, we want nice, soft singing. That's what's gonna give you the control. So relax posture, relax stomach, open throat, raise soft palate, and we sing. And we're going to carry on until we run out of breath. And when we think there's no more breath, we're going to squeeze our stomach and that's going to push more air out. Now, don't please don't squeeze your stomach right from the beginning. Please make sure you wait until there's no air left. That's the first part of the exercise. So we're going to do that a few times. We'll go up the, up the keyboard. So we'll go up in pitch um, so that we cover the whole of the ranges. So here we go, nice and gently. Five, six, seven, long breath. Well done. Take a breath, take some water if you need. And we're going to move up and let's go from here. And long breath. move up the scale and keep going from here. Oh. Now if you have a lower voice you might need to go into your head voice or your falsetto here. Here we go, long breath, five, six, seven. done okay let's move it up if this is out of your range then practice again in a lower octave here we go long breath open throat raise off palate nice relaxed shoulders relaxed stomach five six seven and Well done. Take a breath. Take some water. Stay hydrated. So now we're going to start right from the beginning. 
We're gonna go through the entire range. So join us when it's comfortable for you. Do, do challenge yourself to add a note if you can, but do not strain. Remember, relaxed shoulders, relaxed stomach, raise soft palate, relaxed throat. Breathe when you need to, because we're gonna go through the entire range. <laughs> Five, six, seven, and. Keep going. this breathe when you need to relax shoulders relax stomach open throat well done and back down Relax your shoulders, relax your stomach, open throat, raised soft palate. Practice that every day and in a couple of weeks you're going to find that your voice is much smoother and you have much more control. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please do remember to like and subscribe. Give us a comment. Let me know how it went. Take care. Stay hydrated. Ciao.